welcome back to the channel um, if you remember I had some trouble with my Jeep and I had to replace the oil filter housing oil cooler unit and while doing that you've got to take out this inner liner to get to some bolts for a bracket to get that all apart I've been driving around without them in for a little while just because when I took it out um, they were rusted in pretty good and I think it was three of the screws that hold it in were rusted and broke off so I need to get this back in because the weather's getting worse they're gonna start salting the roads they're gonna start getting sloppy with the snow and stuff so I'm gonna work on drilling these out and getting my inner liners put back in Some new hardware I did not have to drill this one out I did not have to drill this one out this one was a captured nut but I was able to use a little bit of tape and get a nut and washer on the back of it and get it to thread in and that the lock washer and tape actually held to where I could actually tighten it down without having to try to get a wrench on the back side of that. Uh, the screw that was here had a stripped out Allen head. So I got those two in, I got that in. That's all for this section. The next section down here um, takes two. These are captured nuts here, so I'm okay there. And then this is the one that had broke off. So before I did anything with this one, I got up inside here and sprayed some PV Blaster, which I wish I had done now before I ever started taking it off by hindsight 2020 because in the time that I worked on this area, all I did is put vice grips on the, the remaining piece of bolt that stuck out and I was able to turn that right out. So the PV Blaster broke it loose. So I did not end up having to drill any of them. I got this together with the hardware that I had. Um, I, for these other three, I found some, this is why it always helps just to keep hardware. It's an old dad joke that keeping hardware and you know excess hardware bits and pieces that you'll never use. I need three bolts to put that other section back on and I happen to have three Phillips head bolts that go that fit those three spots um, so then you on this back side you take this nut off and there's a tab right here hopefully you can see that 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 tab connects to there so I'm okay there so I just need these three and I just happen to have three Phillips head these probably are not the best ones to use for this but like I said it's what I have right now so I'm gonna go ahead and get this back together and um, these are not hardened so if anything does happen to them later if I have to take this off again I'll try to remember to run some PB blaster in there um, before I put it together maybe I'll put some thread uh, and I see in there to help protect them um, but I'm gonna throw these back together and wrap this project up
so fortunately that went better than expected. Um, I thought I had broke off three bolts. I think the other two that I replaced with the Phillips heads were maybe stripped off the heads or something. I don't remember, it's been a little while since I worked on it. I just remembered I had a few that I need to replace one way or another. So like I said, fortunately that went better than expected. It'll be nice to have that inner wall back in. Now that the roads are gonna start getting nasty and the salt on the roads, it's my daily driver, I gotta drive it year round. So it's nice to have that extra added protection, keeping stuff out of the engine bay. Um, so, like I said in a previous video, winter in Michigan, we don't get out as much. We're gonna still do some trail rides. Hopefully we'll still do a little bit of winter camping until it, before it gets really cold. Um, we just had a lot going on with the holidays, so we haven't got out much. So if you haven't already, uh, I, I would ask you to subscribe. Click on the bell so you get the uh, notifications. Give us a like down below. That helps the channel. We're still trying to grow slowly, but we're still trying to grow the channel. Um, any comments, if you comment, anything, tips, uh, complaints, um, anything positive, negative, whatever, I, I respond to every comment. I enjoy the interaction with the watcher, with you, with the viewers, and um, we're going to try to keep this channel moving. We're also working on the 48 Willys. That channel is Thunderbolt, the Willys Jeep. Um, I invite you to come over and check out that channel. That one is actually more active right now, now that it's winter. I'm in the shop more than I'm out in the woods. <laughs> so we're hoping to get that one fired up. Uh, first ignition, first startup. Not driving, but first startup. We're hoping for early February. We've been doing a lot of work on that, so come on over to that channel as well and enjoy watching us get that one put back together and running and hopefully that one will get out on adventures this spring so thanks for watching i appreciate it see you next time mm -hmm.